So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Call channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about one of the 31 NITs in the country. We are going to discuss about MNIT Jaipur in this video, which is popularly known as NIT Jaipur in this video. Okay. Now many students are in very high chaos these days. Like which college should I choose? Is this college good for me or not? Oh, am I going to spend my next four years in this college? Is it worthful? So maybe at some point of time, you can find this video very interesting, very helpful for those students. And a general reminder, a general request, please don't put your phone down, folks. Keep watching this video till the end because this video is going to be very informative. All right, let's start this video. Just giving you a brief outline that what are the things that we are going to cover in the next 10 minutes. All right, we'll, we are going to start with discussing about the highlights of MNIT Jaipur. Then we'll move on to the courses which this college offers. Then we will move on to the admission procedure course-wise. Then we will move on to the entrance exam, that what are the major entrance exam that you need to clear to get a call from this college. So for that, we need to cover the cutoff thing. So we are going to cover the cutoff thing also. What are the reservation policy in this college? What are the scholarship opportunities in this college? And what is the placement scenario in this college? So again, after this point of time, if you have any doubts, any questions, any cures, any queries, feel free to ask in the comment section below. All right. Let's start. So let's start with discussing about the highlights, the major highlights of MNIT Jaipur. So MNIT Jaipur was established in the year 1963. It's a very old college. It's a public university spread across 317 acres. So a lavish campus in the pink city of India, right? A perfect tourist spot, right? So if you, you know, stand a chance to visit this campus or visit even this place, Jaipur, then definitely visit this campus, a great campus. Of course, the location is Jaipur, Rajasthan, and the courses are AICTE approved, runs under MHRD. You can visit the site www.manit.ac.in slash about us about mnit.php to have more information, more updates about this college. Now let's move on and discuss about the other part. But before that, let's have a look at how you will reach the campus. So this college is located 5.5 kilometers away from Jaipur International Airport. This college is located 3.5 kilometers from away from Gandhi Nagar Jaipur Railway Station and 10.5 kilometers from Jaipur Junction Railway Station, right? So these are the exiles or the way by which you will visit the campus. Keep this in mind. Now let's discuss about the courses offered by MNIT Jaipur. So essentially in the UG it offers two courses. The one is B Arc and the other is B Tech. B Arc in the specialization architecture and planning and B Tech in the specialization of chemical, civil, computer science, electrical, electronics and communication, mechanical and metrological and material engineering. All right. So this is just a brief about the UG courses. Let's discuss about the PG courses, right? So in the PG courses, there are essentially four sub courses that they offer under PG. These are M Tech, MSc, M Plan, and MBA. Let's discuss about the specialization. Let's start with discussing about the M plan. So the specialization is urban planning. If I discuss about the M tech, then this is renewable energy, chemical engineering, disaster assessment and mitigation, environmental, structural transportation, water resource, computer engineering, then power system, VLSI, wireless and optical communication, industrial production, thermal, metallurgical, steel, much options you have, meaning thereby you will have ample opportunities, ample options you can explore with while deciding specialization. So again, at this point of time, I'll just tell you that don't go for those courses, those specializations where the cutoff is low, because this is going to cost maybe in the coming years of your life. Map this requirement, map your requirement with the market needs, future growth, and then only choose and take a final call. Let's discuss about the other PG courses. These are Earthquake Engineering in MTech, the specialization, Material Science and Engineering in MTech. You can do your MBA in Management Studies. Again, there are MBA in HR, Finance, Operations. Visit the site. You will have much information. If I talk about MSc, then of course, you'll have uh, options like Chemistry, Physics or Mathematics. So you can do your MSc in these domains. There is also an option PhD. You can visit the site. Normally the PhD examination portal open in the time of because there is two times than it is conducted in the country. So in that time they open the portal for PhD. Visit the site. You'll have fair information. Now let's discuss about the admission procedures. So admission procedures, this is very crucial part in here. And essentially I'm going to discuss in detail about the undergraduate in this video. Okay. 
we'll also discuss about the PG, but not in that much detail. So in the UG, and this is, if I talk about basically for the, in, uh, like foreign students. So foreign students, that mission is done on the basis of DASA, that is direct admission for the students abroad, based on your SAT score. And, and also they are given a chance to give this exam, J means. So if they score well in J means and clear the cutoff, they can also be admitted through this J means and through this SAT DESA thing as well. For the Indian students, they have to clear J means, which is the main thing in here. They have to clear the J means with a required cutoff. And this entire process is done through JOSAA, that is Joint Seat Allocation Authority. Visit the site josaa.nic.in slash webinfo slash public slash home dot ASPX to have more information about the admission procedure. Again, in a similar fashion, this follows for the PG. The PG courses like MTech and MPlan with scholarship through CCMT. Now, CCMT is Centralized Counseling for MTech and MPlan and MRC admission. You can visit the site, you'll have more information about this admission procedure of PG. If I talk about for the MSc, then you need to again clear the cutoff. See, there are entrance exam. In short, just to make the long thing short, you have to clear the required entrance exam to get into this college because this college are of national repute, right? Essentially, for the MSc, you need to clear IT jam, okay? For the MBA, you need to clear CAT with the required cutoff. For the PhD, you need to clear UGC net. Let's discuss about the other parts. Essentially, what are the major entrance exam that you need to clear to get into this college? Before I move on, let's announce a very important part. This is for the NRI students. So for the NRI students, we have prepared an NRI ebook, okay? Which is related to DASA and CIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. So we have a compiled set of NRI books. This will really help the NRI students to prepare well for the final DD, okay? This is for the NRI students. Now let's discuss about the major entrance exam, the entrance exam that you have to have to qualify to get a call from this college. So for the BTEC and BR, you have to clear J mains. Then only you will get a call from this college. If I talk for about the PG, that is the post graduation courses. So in the MBA, you have to clear CAT. I'm not sure about CMAT. I'm not sure about ZAT. I'm not sure about GMAT. So visit the site. But as of now, CAT score is being accepted. Visit the site, you'll have much information about the MBA entrance exam, that which entrance exam that they, score, that they accept. Because this is just like there are a total of 31 NITs, right? They have different, different criteria. They accept different scorecards. So for this MNIT Jaipur, visit the site, you'll have fair information. For the MTech and MPlan, they accept GATE. And for the MSc, they accept IIT JAM scorecard, okay? Briefly discussing about the cutoff. So let's discuss about the cutoff of general category students. This is the round one of the last year data. Uh, the opening rank for the chemical engineering was 13,674. The closing was 24,475 in the round six. So somewhere around 13,600. Let's take it 14,000. And let's take it 25,500, 6,000 here and 4,500 there. 10,500 students have been called in chemical engineering. There are options in this range, right? Similarly, if I talk about for the civil engineering, this is 93, 23 in the opening category. This was the opening rank in the round one and 28,391 was the closing rank in round six. And likewise, you can see the chart, you can see the data in here. Let's discuss about one more. Let's discuss about, let's say mechanical engineering. So the opening was 1830. This was the opening rank of round one and 17,090 was the closing rank for the round six. All right. Meaning thereby they have high cutoff because these colleges are of national repute. Meaning there was just one thing, prepare well, hit hard in the D-Day, you're sorted. Let's discuss about the OBC category. So in the chemical engineering, the round one opening rank was 66,020 and the closing was 8,563. In mechanical, this was 3592, the opening rank in round one and 5736 in round six, the closing rank. As you can see the chart, the cutoffs are high. Yes, obviously it should be high. If I talk about for the SC category students, this is 4191 in the chemical engineering, the round one opening rank and 5836 closing rank in round six. So this is just a brief about SC category. Let's take one more. Let's take this time uh, electronics and communication engineering. So this was 1319 in the round one. This was the opening rank and 2259 round six. This was the closing rank in the round six for the SC category students. You can visit the site www.sikshar.com slash college slash MNIT Jaipur Malviye 
National Institute of Technology 24372 slash cutoff because in this site you will have I mean all the cutoffs course wise specialization wise is given year to year wise right so this will give you a rough idea that cutoff is increasing cutoff is decreasing they have also prepared an analysis you can visit and have a fair idea if I talk about the DESA UG the round one and round two cutoff rank was 530 and 586 and then the seats was closed all the seats were fulfilled Let's discuss about the reservation policy. So in this college, this is actually a government college. So the government colleges abide. I mean, government colleges are, I mean, mandated to follow the government rules and regulations, right? This is under MHRD. So as it says that 7.5% of the total seats should be reserved for ST category students, 15% of the total seats reserved for the SC category students, 27% of the total seats reserved for the OBC category students, and 10% of the total seats reserved for the EWS category students, meaning thereby 59.5% of the total seats are reserved for the reserved category students, which means that 31.5% are for open category students, okay? This is for the Indian students. If I talk about for the NRIs, so this is a very good thing that this year, the DESA admission is being handled by the same college, which is MNIT Jaipur. So admissions are open for foreign nationals, PIOs, non-resident Indians under DESA, Scheme to MNIT, uh, triple ITs or all the premier technical institute, you can visit the site www.desanit.org, you will have fair idea. You will have fair idea about the reservation seat, uh, courses wise, specializations wise, right? This will really help you. Let's discuss about DESA. So normally DESA is a body, that is a body which deals with uh, the admission of foreign students. Normally this year, as you can see the chart right here, there are a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 6. 6 times 5 is 30 minus 2, 28 NITs. 28 NITs is taking part in DESA and this entire activity for this year following is handled by MNIT Jaipur only, okay? You can uh, mail them DESA 2021 help at the rate mnit.ec.in. If you have any doubts, any queries regarding seats, Feel free to ask them. There is a number, helpline number as well. You can visit the site and then you will have all the information about this thing. All right. Let's move on and discuss about the scholarship part. So as the College of National Repute, there are ample scholarship opportunities in this college, right? This ranges from Central Sector Scholarship of Top Class Education for SC students. This runs under Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, New Delhi. Then there are national fellowships, national scholarships of the person with disability, merit come scholarship, ministry of civil authority, Indian oral scholarship, and there are much more. You can visit the site www.mnit.ac.in slash prospectives underscore students slash scholarship dot php. You will have much information about the scholarship thing. You can also apply to the scholarship through your state's portal, through your uh, like whichever district you are in. Like suppose if you are in, let's say, Bhopal of Madhya Pradesh, then of course, there are some state government scholarship schemes or fellowship schemes through that you can also apply. And you can also apply through this central government scholarship scheme, which is called National Scholarship Portal. So you'll have ample opportunities in terms of scholarship when you can reimburse your entire fees. Let's discuss about the placement. So this is the data of the last year. As you can see in the architecture, there were a total of 19 students placed. The total offer was 19. 35 were the total number of eligible students. It meaning thereby 54.29% of the students got placed. The highest was 7 lakh per annum and the lowest was 5.3. Sorry, this was the average package, 5.31. The lowest was 3.5 in that year. If I talk about for the BTEC candidates, let's take uh, computer science. Okay, so the computer science total number of 91 students were placed out of 102. And the highest pay package was 30.82 lakh per annum. The average was 14.24. Again, you visit the site, have information about the median pay package. That will give you a fair idea about the placement scenario. Of course, these are national colleges. The return on investment is really high, right? If you're getting a chance to, you know, visit the campus or if you are getting a chance to, you know, take admission in this college, must do it. Don't let it go. Let's discuss about metallurgy. So in the metallurgy, 45 out of uh, 72 students were placed, 62.5 uh, were the percentage of students placing ratio, which means that 17 lakh per annum was the highest pay package in metallurgy department and 6.58 lakh was the average pay package. If you just sum up and take the average, this is 9.11 lakh and if you take the highest average, this is 38 lakhs. Highest is of course the highest, which is 38, but the average is 9.11, not a bad deal. The fees is not too high, the return on investment is more than toys. 
if you just see the course wise fees all right so this is just the information about placements and entire information about MIT Jaipur still you have any doubts any questions you can ask in the comment section below all right feel free to reach out to us so this is all for this video I hope you enjoyed like this video share this video to as many friends as you can and see you in the coming videos thank you